Um, this is Diane. Oh, hello, Diane. It's an oddly warm greeting for a killer and his victim's daughter. Hi, how are you? All the better for seeing you. Diane's mother, Muriel Mackay, was kidnapped 54 years ago. Her body was never found. Nizamuddin, Nizam Hussein, and his brother were convicted of her murder and jailed for life. Eventually freed and deported to his native Trinidad, Nizam has offered to show the Mackay family where he buried Muriel's body. Well, it's very hard for me to talk about this because it's quite painful, but if you can come and help us find her, of course we'd be very glad to, to bring you over. I'm quite prepared. You're quite prepared to come over and explain and show us exactly where you put her? Yeah. He's a man of few words. Nizam says they kept Muriel at their Hertfordshire farm. When she suddenly collapsed and died, he buried her behind a barn. Last year, police searched part of the grounds but found no trace of Muriel. Her family say they dug in the wrong place. Nizam has a new passport, but there's a hurdle to overcome. He's asked the Home Office to lift his deportation order so he can return to the UK and reveal the burial site. He wrote, I believe I am the only living person who knows where Muriel's body is and would like her body to be found before I myself die. Muriel was married to Australian newspaper executive Alec Mackay. Her kidnappers mistook her for Anna Murdoch, wife of Alec's boss, Rupert. What's it like having to talk to the man who killed your mother? It's very hard, but have you had so many years with nobody to talk to and no leads and no, no hope of ever finding her body? It's actually a relief to talk to him. The Home Office is considering Nizam's request to lift his deportation order and Scotland Yard detectives are deciding if they need to search the farm again. Martin Brunt, Sky News.